straight into the music. LD 300. You know what I'm saying? Rapper, game spitter. We all. Entrepreneur, independent rap hustler. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Marketing, advertising, product, merchandising. You know what I'm saying? Rap, hip hop enthusiast, <laughs> historian. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. All of these things. And now, as I spoke earlier, you only been out of prison for three years. But in these three years, you managed to build up a tremendous catalog. How many albums have you released? Album slash mixtape, I say more so albums. Okay. Have you released since you've been released from prison? 13 since I've been home. 13 14 in all. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So this album right here, this is be my 15th in my in my journey in music. Yeah, and you and I've noticed, I've been watching you online and you've been on uh a rage with the the physical sales, the streaming, you really pushing your shit. You great you got a good fan base and you're starting to get cosigns. From a lot of legendary rappers in Houston. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. But now we come to the point that you're about to drop what you call your first real official album. real yeah. album. You know what I'm saying? Your first studio album, like that, I want to say. Yeah. yeah. So take me into the mind frame of what you're trying to get the people on this new one. And what's the uh, title of it? The title of this album is David Street. That's the album. You know what I'm saying? I'm just in the mind frame of what it's like in my neighborhood where I'm from and all that shit. But um, the goal is. Man, Houston, man, like, you know, I live here. This city done changed me in the way that I make music and whatnot. And um, I just want to put a body of work out there that is, um, that kind of, you know, solidify me here. Like, this, this city done been so instrumental to my journey in music regardless. You know, even from the beginning, my very first album that I ever did in life, Kiki hosted it in my first mixtape mm. back home. Uh, you know, I'm from Longview. And bringing me up to today with, with him again and with Key again and my uh, DZ Miyaki and um, Mr. Lee and I. Houston, oh, and my, and my nigga Alvo, my nigga Buster, Alvo from South Bank, from South Park, uh, my boy Buster from the East Side, and just like so many of my homies from here, Quail from City Gas, and just so many people, right? Um, just musically, I'm just trying to bring something that they can be proud of. Like, I gotta make and, and I accept the challenge of, man, you got to rock out like this. You really got, I take it, man. I take all this shit. I got a lot of advantages in the game. I definitely got a lot of Houston advantages um, that motherfuckers don't got. And it's all by the grace of God from the Mr. Lee to, you know, whatever. I got ATL advantages, you know. Um, Greg but, Street. You got a good relationship with Greg Street, huh? Greg Street is my homie. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's him that got Buddha Bless on this. Buddha blessed this beat on the album, you know. Um, yeah, man, it's about it's about living up to the promise of what what it is that you got at your that God done blessed you to have. You know what I'm saying? And I accept that. I accept the fact that like, nah, I ain't. I'm not in this shit to be average, ordinary, regular. I'm in this shit for greatness. I'm in this shit to rock out. And with this album, is like. This is the longest that I've ever taken to make an album. It's been a year in the making and all that shit. And just all of the lessons that I learned of being in this city, man. I'm just ready to to put that shit on display for real, you know? So, even though you have so much of a catalog already, in a way you kind of feel like this is like a brand new introduction? Hell yeah, but man, it's... Bro, I see why niggas move here. Like, I see like, like it's, it's highly competitive rap-wise. It's... You know, and at the end of the day, it's like, man, what the fuck is you going to do? Like, this ain't no, no, just no, man, this city is like the, I ain't going to lie. As far as like when you trying to really do this shit and become solidified in this shit, like the pressure of that shit, I just really enjoy that pressure. Yeah. I do. And with that, that foundation, you feel confident in being able to make a longevity career with the music. Man. Especially off the fan base you've already obtained throughout the, yeah, the few years. Yeah, but 
I'm saying this shit is so exciting. Like I'm very excited about this shit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I understand what I'm up against. I understand what I gotta do, uh, nigga. This shit, like, I'm ready. Like this, yeah, hey, we here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm ready to put my shit into, into here and whatever they gonna say. Like. However they judge me, they might say, fuck you, period. They might don't even want to fuck with it at all. They might accept it. They might, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm in this shit, like whatever, you know. And it sounds like your goal is to be amongst the names of the H-Town rap legends. And Man, that, this that sounds shit, like your goal, to be a Houston rap legend. This shit is the place where you get stamped, bro. They don't own, they they pass out the stamps, <laughs> yeah. you know. So to be stamped here, this this is not like, um, and I done said this shit before. Drake want to be stamped here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His campaign consisted of making sure Houston land of eight. You know, I'm gonna make sure y'all know like, this is who. If you from if you from Texas, a lot of your, um ideology thinking times culture music is is fucking given by this city so being a player here is is a that's that's a big goal hell yeah i'm just saying it straight up being come on man this shit here if you can do it here nigga you can do it man this is the third largest city man this yeah. shit is serious man this is a and and i have a i have a big opportunity i think you could do it shit. too though Man, what's the official release date on this album coming out? October 28th, man. David Street. David Street, the and album. This, and this is your official, like, introduction, streaming, everything, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You really trying to... My albums are all, even though, man, appreciate everybody for buying the physical copies of all of my albums, this is the first album that we going straight to the, you know, yeah. playing the real game, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited about this shit. For sure, man. You got some features on this? Yeah, you know. Can you release now? Tell us who we might could look to see on this album or no? Um, I won't surprise you with that, but let's just, of course, you know, Key is on the album. Of course, yeah, you know, no Pokey, that's family, you no know. Y'all done, they done seen Pow Wow gonna be on the album. Mm. Um, uh, that's some legends, three legends right there. For sure, that my homie, um, Bigger Bad Tim, like people like that, um, you know, Brazil drugs from down here, Southwest. You young, know. Yeah, young young dude coming out right. Yeah, now. you know, LVO out of uh Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? Um production by X File, Mr. Lee. You know, of course Mr. Lee is my that's my guy all the way, my brother. Uh X File, um uh Buddha blessed this beat like crazy. Me and him got so much shit coming in the future. Crazy, like you know, I'll record it at uh um at our mix studio with Bruce Bain. Like every I done had all of the the sh like you know, it's time, man. It's time, bro. For sure, for sure. Um so man, a person who's never listened to Al D's music ever, they tap into your music, what do they do? Um You can see somebody that's really expressing themselves with the goal of, you know, um, man, let me tell you something straight up, just G shit. I'm not in this shit to fuck around and play. I'm not in this bitch to say that, yeah, I'm in this, but I ain't no rapper. Nigga, I'm a rapper. I take great pride in being able to tell somebody that, like, I'm in this shit to do this shit at the highest level. That's what you hearing. You hearing a nigga going through the journey of converting my life experiences into the best music that I can make at elevating levels of quality. I'm trying to take this shit to the highest level. I'm not fucking playing. I'm here for real. I'm not making excuses. No, I'm not playing. I'm in this shit for real. I'm in it to be one of the ones at this shit. I'm not trying to do this and then you're over here trying to do something else. So if they don't fuck with you trying to hedge, like, nah, I'm in this shit for everything to come with it. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm in this shit. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, man, one of my favorite artists, man. <laughs> one of my favorite artists coming out. 
everything you're doing. I love what you're doing. I love the way you're approaching and shit too, man. Man, shit, I don't normally do this, man. But you could possibly give us a couple bars. Oh, no, man. <laughs> Say, man. I, listen, I appreciate you asking me that shit. And normally, up under normal circumstance, man, I'm telling you, bro, like. This shit, this shit expensive. I'm ready. I, man. This shit ain't, this shit gold, man. <laughs> this shit gold. Yeah. Last question, my dude. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Jay. What's good? I don't know if I got a question. I will tell you this. Yeah. You got to be more consistent. You got to like really be on this shit. You can't goddamn me be bullshitting about this shit. You got to take it serious. You got to have an attitude about this shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta be really releasing the motherfuckers and making sure that you that you on these niggas next because you dope. You got the concept. You've been at this shit a minute. You done talked to everybody in the city. You a name in the city. You steady going up, but at the same time, you got to approach this shit like it's fucking life or death. You got to treat it like it's life or death. Facts. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Man, I'll D 300, man. Yes, sir. 300 block, man. David Street album coming soon. Hey. In the green room, man. Yes, sir. Man, I appreciate it.